Good morning, traders. Asian indices actually not looking too bad considering the drop we had on Wall Street last night with uh, Japan, the, the Nikkei, the Hang Seng and the China looking to open slightly up. Only the ASX 200 slightly to the downside there. Now, US indices closed uh, the session mix, had an outperformance in the NASDAQ, which was propped up by uh, Google with its uh, ongoing event, uh, really bolstering the stock price there. Um, however, other major indices finished pretty, uh, pretty solidly in the red. Dow down 200 points, dragged down by Disney, which had a shocker. Uh, the S&P 500 and the Russell also dragged down by financials as a, a more banking woes came to the fore with uh, PacWest reporting that uh, it, deposit outflows had been 10% in the last month, which saw their stock price down 22% on the session. Um, Thursday's main risk event in FX markets was the Bank of England, who did hike 25 basis points as expected, uh, with the usual 7-2 vote split there. Um, that's 12 hikes in a row for the Bank of England. Uh, the company's statement had a little bit of a little bit of each way for the for the bulls and the bears, or the hawks and the doves, I should say, um, with guidance saying that uh, prior tightening is yet to make its way into the into the economy. It also retained guidance that uh, if there was evidence of more persistent inflation and further tightening uh, of monetary policy would be required. Now, the, the initial reaction in cable was a spike higher, um, tested that major resistance around that 126 level, but quickly gave it back and some uh, and, and deteriorated over the rest of the session. Um, there's a the market's priced in a less aggressive Bank of England going forward. Uh, to be fair though, the US dollar did rally against uh, all currencies really, um, despite a lower than expected PPI figure, which came out soured risk sentiment on the on the bank of these banking jitters and, and the ongoing debt ceiling impasse uh, saw haven flows into the US dollar. So the dollar index pushed back through the, the resistance it had around 101.80 to, to settle above the 102 level. Uh, in commodities, gold had a bit of a roller coaster, um, had a spike at the start of the session, but quickly sold off uh, as the US dollar surged, uh, pushed back below its 2020 support to finish the session uh, well in the red there. So. Safe haven traders seem to be favouring the US dollar and the, and the Japanese yen at the moment, which it could be an ominous sign for the gold bugs if that continues. Uh, the crude oil was lower on Thursday too, weighed down by uh, cooler than expected inflation figures out of China, uh, a resurgent US dollar and, and risk off sentiment on those banking woes again. Um, the lower than expected CPI, PPI out of China really stoked some demand fears as well. And, and, and some worries that the post-COVID rebound is not as strong as hoped. So USO, USD slid down to that, about that 71 handle before finding a little bit of support there. Today's main risk events, I would say, uh, New Zealand inflation. I mean, the, the, in, uh, the Kiwis outperformed a little bit lately and could see a push lower in that Aussie Kiwi pair. It's below 107 now, looking like a good setup for a mean reversion trade there. Uh, consumer sentiment out of the US will also be a... Um, a gauge on the, the economic health of the US and may move the needle somewhat on Fed expectations in their June meeting. Uh, also have uh, the UK GDP, which I don't think will have much of an effect after yesterday's Bank of England.